Okay. okay, are we skipping now? I hope not, because hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Read New Game Plus. I'm too hot. That's Rydell, that's Hair Wadsig, that's Nero Brony, and that's Time Knight. Let's read. <laughs> Let's uh, read. We're picking up again Yay. where we left off <laughs> on, on hands. Uh, we've, if we sound a little harassed, it is because we have been, uh, over the last two week, two or three weeks, we've had a lot of, uh, footage break, audio desync, and, uh, streams just kind of fall apart, so, uh, a lot of technical difficulties Wait. recently, uh, but we are, uh, hopefully on the other side of that whole thing, and we're going to celebrate by reading more of Hands! Yay, Hands! Watch Yay. Yay! So excited! Much excited. Oh my dear god, no, I just read a line! Okay, god. so, um, who, what is, what is, sucks. what is this again? So, um, Nero, you're the narrator? I think uh, I was the narrator, actually. Okay. Hair is the narrator. Near no, uh, sorry. I mean, Rydell. I was the main six. You're the main six, except for Twilight and Fluttershy, who is Rydell. Except we're gonna give Fluttershy to 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 um, Time Knight. Yeah. Now yeah. I just have to remember what voices I was using yeah. for them. And, and I am uh, <laughs> I the that, main character. Man. It's been a while. It's been a while oh, since we read this. So uh, we're we're gonna. I know get... that Andrew. Andrew mm -hmm. is scruffy. Yeah. So. So we're on chapter three. Yeah. Let's go. Does anyone remember my Twilight? Oh, no. You're no. to figure it out. I'll have to make up a new one. Up another one. Oh well, whatever. Okay. Hands. A My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Fan Fiction by Andrew J. Tylen. Discovered this is a non-profit fan-based work of prose. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic is the property of Hasbro and the reinvention of the lovely Lauren Faust. No copyrighted infringement is intended. Please support the official release. Mm. Yeah, he like throws mm. in the lovely mm. Lauren Faust. Mm. Like, mmm. Milady, mm. <laughs> Malaria. Stupid. Aww. We open up on... Hospitals are a bore. No matter what universe, what century, I don't care. A proper hospital is a boring one. It's supposed to be that way to encourage you to get the hell out faster. Um... No. It's no, supposed no. to be that well, way because it's run efficiently so that you don't die on the operating table. Because An exciting is hospital is a bad thing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think anyone would want a Frank Gehry designed hospital. That would be the end of the world. A talking pony hospital is no different. I had requested some literature. Essentially, the pony classics. I had tried reading modern novels on Earth, but aside from science fiction and mystery and the occasional political thriller, I didn't have much interest in current literature. So basically, you don't have much current interest in current literature, except for oh. the fact that there's you're interested in science fiction, which has a lot of literature in it, and mystery, which has a lot of modern literature in it. Gee, I wonder what oxymoron this is this time. Well, I think he's saying that apart from that, other so he, than those, yeah, other yeah. than those, so but he, 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 yeah, but those are characters. still huge genres. So well, yeah, it's just like, yeah, but he's just saying that he's that he's got a relatively narrow uh, view on things. Like he doesn't like things that don't fit into basically very pulpy genres. Which, if it wasn't for the fact that I've been told for, by uh, Lightning Rabbit and Soundspeed that he later goes on to wank endlessly about how smart he is, would make me think that the character is meant to come off as kind of shallow. So it ends up just coming off as really weird and pretentious. Hmm. Knowing what I know about what will eventually come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> come. Yeah. I mean, after reading Catcher in the Rye and its million copycats, I was sick of teenage and college-age disillusionment. Oh, God. I wasn't a woman, so I didn't have much interest in romance novels or oh, women's I'm literature. I'm done. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. wow. Nope. Oh, oh, what? Wow. Why was it woman? Well, hold on. If he wasn't a woman, if he was a woman, then his opinion wouldn't matter. So, oh, <laughs> it's on the fucking same level as that. And shit. see you next week, ladies and gentlemen. Da, 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 we're out. Oh, what the God. fuck? Wow. My closet. So well, that fell apart quickly. That wow. <laughs> Thank you, wow. Energy Talon. You utter cock. Let's keep going. Oh, oh, and this is even better. I wasn't 
wasn't gay, so I didn't have any real interest there, wasn't a dieter or a self-help neurotic. Oh, yeah, because I totally love diet books and self-help books. Oh, no, yeah, I, that's no, totally no. how it works, isn't it? Hair, it? hair, yeah, hair, 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 hair. I wasn't gay, so I didn't have any real interest there. He's talking about LGBT books. That it that is actually yeah, the, separated the, the, as its own genre in a lot of bookstores. Oh. Yeah, the, the, the dieter and self help. Yeah, uh, the dieter and self help are are, are are separate. As in, he's not a he's not gay, so he's not interested in LGBT books. He's not a dieter. Well, he should he's have not a sentence like that. He's not then. a self help he, he, neurotic. He, he, he right. So he he's not interested he in self help books. That's, that's why the uh, that's why the commas there. Uh, yeah, the he dieters. did actually. Yeah, so it wasn't gay. So I didn't that right. Pause. So my reading was cheap. Yeah, you, you, you misread so that. It's all right. It's all right. So my reading was chiefly to learn things, expand my mind, or for fun. In other words, why most people aneurysm. read. Yeah, of course. As for pony literature, well, I gave this a questioning guide to citizenship a try. It wasn't too bad, though the author seemed off his rocker. I also read The Fall of Princess Luna, which was apparently out of circulation for a while. Tragic story. I can't imagine the horror Celestia felt when her sister fell to the dark side. What? what? History of the Penguin Wars was very interesting. What? It ran kind of like a Tom Clancy novel, which doesn't fit into any of the genres that you mentioned. Nope. Well, political thriller, kind of some Clancy well, books. Sort yeah, of. but I don't know. I've actually read Tom Clancy books, like 90 pages of it. And it seemed I, more like it was about terrorism and America than it was a political Yeah, I, I have read the entirety so of it's... Splinter Cell and the entirety of Ghost Recon. And, well, well uh, he, he has done... So I think it can, depend, yeah. it can depend on the era of his books you're, you're reading. Yeah, some of them are uh, political thrillers, but they're all, like, military-based yeah. political thrillers. Like, yeah, they're uh, all Cardinal very... and the Kremlin. Yeah, it is about, like, uh, you know, Soviet-era uh, espionage and... Political struggles. The majority yeah. of or Ghost Recon is. Yeah. The majority of Ghost Recon is supposed to be like this whole political thing, and they don't even get to the main story until halfway through the book. But it's still it's it's overall kind of meh. And yeah. he's a very yeah. technical it's, writer. His, yeah, yeah. His co his uh his earlier more Cold War focused stuff is more political thriller. So you get stuff like I said, Cardinal in the Kremlin, Hunt for Red October, things like that. Yeah, he's yeah. interesting, but he's very history very of the dry Penguin and Wars. Yeah, he is so yeah. technical that he got investigated as possibly stealing military secrets because of how accurate his stuff was. Wait, what? Actually, yeah, no, seriously. What? He actually got all of his stuff from the library and by sort of piecing things together. Yeah, he's just. But they thought he might have been stealing military secrets to write his book. Yeah, he's a, he's a creepily smart dude, but like, anyway, but this is well, a bad Trump Yeah, because he's dead now. Yeah, he's dead now, which is a shame. He was kind of interesting. Well, now his player. zombie's a creepily smart dude. Yeah. <laughs> except yeah. For, anyway. Except with magic. Yeah, anyway. History of the Penguin Wars. Oh, wait. Da, 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 except with magic and evil penguins as the villains. The Stoke House was apparently the classic pony horror novel, with slavery as the central terror, then, say, death. What? Slavery. Death. Racist barn, racist barn, one, two, what? three. How do you make... Next sentence. Next sentence explains so that. So having your mind torn from you, all control removed is scary to any sapient life form. Mind control slavery. Oh! Slavery. Stokehouse oh. just kind of sounds like slaughterhouse, so I yeah. yeah. Like... More so, it's also kind of weird in that's like, oh yes, no classic pony horror doesn't deal with death. And you know what I just thought? Like mind <laughs> enslavement. You know what I just thought? Yeah. Wouldn't it have been hilariously meta if the if the Stokehouse was actually Rainbow Factory? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Anyway, yeah. moving along, we have a... The move. Adventures of Daring Do were also pretty good as far as contemporary stuff went. Given the totally nature of the fits world... in those genres he listed. Yeah. Given the nature of the world, fantasy was basically everyday literature. Disaster novels were popular. The survival of the everyman, or rather every pony, in an incredible situation, something to enjoy, though I only got that from the nurse, and that was a total sentence fragment, Andrew mm -hmm. J. Talon. Good job. Really, the differences were fairly minor otherwise. 
It might be a recurring theme with brain thinking mammalian tool using species. Oh my god, stop trying to use big words. You are making yourself look incredibly stupid. He utilizes gargantuan words in order to... Gargantuan uh, vocabulary in order to obfuscate his own lack of thorough understanding of literary excellence. Of anti pescatarianism Well, hey, at least Rebellion was kind of used correctly this time. No, it's not that it's used wrong. It's that it's, like, ridiculously over the top in how yeah, hard he's true. trying. He sounds like a bunch of history articles I've had to read where it's literally I can't understand a word of it because they're all just using these incredibly big words that make me want to bash my head and become retarded like Derpy. Uh, note that he has... <laughs> note, but note the word, the word before that. Brain thinking. <laughs> I ain't much of one for them brain thinking. Oh. Oh my, my brain God. is thinking. Moving on! Uh, so, Rambadoosh. Rainboob Dash. Uh, oh, yeah, that's me. So, doing the egghead thing. Rainbadash asked. <laughs> I looked up from my current book and stared at her as she hovered around. Dash shrugged. What? I brought my tortoise in for a checkup. I didn't have anything to do until he's done. Why are you bringing him into a pony hospital, you freaking idiot? I think he's going to bring that up. (laughs) Yeah. Well. No, I don't think he does. Oh, wait. Yeah. I would have asked asked why she didn't take her tortoise to a vet, but the peculiarities of veterinarians versus real doctors were still a bit of a mystery to me. I don't you know, understand medicine. You totally have gizzards. It's like, well, I, I don't know. He, I don't know the difference between a vet and a doctor. Therefore, everyone can use a vet and a doctor interchangeably. I, I mean, know. okay, I had been taken to a vet first time I'd gotten injured on this planet, but I think it had more to do with distance than Twilight's opinion of me. That's not the point. Ah. I I have no words. Wow, <laughs> that is fucking retarded. So Twilight he... found him injured and was like, okay, I'm going to take you to a vet. Keep in mind, well, Twilight brought Spike to a doctor before the vet. You know, e- e- even Spike, she was like, no, no, okay, we'll, we'll, check the, we'll check the proper doctor first. And then she meets, like, a sapient monkey who looks sort of like a large fleshy version of Spike and is like, vet. Oh my god. Anyway, anyway you it? struck you struck me as kind of an egghead anyway. Right, Dash continued, rubbing her chin uh, with her hoof. You know, all this talk of sciencey stuff, like other planets, laws of physics, how I break them. That, that was pretty cool, how you translated what I do into egghead language, even though your jaw's completely fucked up. Yeah, I know, right? Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, that happened. We're trying to est- yeah. he's trying to establish his Mary Sue as being this grand intel- uh, intelligence. Oh, oh so god. It's Ulrich Stew 2.0. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh. I found yeah. a lot of my long forgotten math classes were coming back to me in the absence of well, let's be honest, computers. Like if we were living on an alien world, and a bit of for Twilight had brought it all back to me. Doing the math for a sonic rain boom was a way to relieve the boredom and prove to Twilight, Twilight I wasn't a dumb ape about numbers. Because and, the math involved in like mock, in like measuring mock cones and stuff, totally the stuff you'll get without specializing. Yeah, it's like, entirely. It's like uh, also and, that 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 last line is meant to make him seem like slightly more humble or like you know like well okay I'm not entirely an idiot whoop whoop but like, the thing is like yeah if he's whoop, measuring whoop. the you know like the actual like forces involved and the speed involved with like a uh, rainbow that means he basically would have had to like pull out like a chalkboard and like written out lengthy calculations and like proven seriously high level fucking math and it's like okay well maybe you're not entirely a moron. Yeah, right. Please, and a question that we learned this in third grade. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We oh, learned it from Mr. Ratburn. God, that's an old reference. All right, we'll keep going. Oh, wow. Okay. Childhood. In- entirely. 
Entirely. Uh, I, I said that already. But I guess uh, lots of kinds of egghead stuff can be fun, the different kinds of eggheads. Dash continued. She rubbed the top of her head now. So you don't talk a lot about your world. Well, of course not. He's except a Except for, you know, this... What, except for the stuff that he's apparently been talking to her about stuff like planets, which would imply that he is talking about Ooh. that. Yeah. <sighs> Since that is kind yeah. of the subject where that would come up. Mm-hmm. That so, is so you're true. an alien. Yes, but we're not going to talk about planets while I do it. I don't talk about yeah. my method. Nope. I stared at her in disbelief. I once again pointed to my jaw. She shrugged. Well, yeah, okay, dumb question. Irritated, I turned my eyes back to my book. Rude. Anyway, I guess I was uh, curious since you used the same variables and, you know, junk like gravity. A G is a G, so I heard Twilight and said there may be a way to boost my speed, and I was wondering if you could get her to work out the numbers and stuff. She said. She smiled. Say nothing, if you will. <laughs> Nurgle! I growled at her. Rainbow Dash grinned. Didn't catch that. Thanks a bunch. She flew off. Wow! Everyone in the story is being a dick. And so I, so I just realized that it is the exact uh, temperature that is proper for snow where I live. Oh. Congratulations! Oh. Hooray! Oh, hey. let's, it go, isn't. Let's, let's go toss some snowballs at Neurobrony. Yeah, no, it actually did snow I can't. earlier They'll today. Melt. I was just wondering if it was uh, still cold enough, and it just barely is. So, mm. I think we had one day where it got cold enough that it could have. <clears throat> so, but on the subject is, of not this... Yeah. <laughs> I sighed and beat the book against my forehead. Hopefully <laughs> destroying <laughs> the brain cells. <laughs> Wait, you wanted the character to get dumber? Yes! Hey, at least he would be open to admitting that he's being dumb. No, no, no. He's an alleged genius. Ooh. Anyway. We, we've been told that he's really smart. Yeah. We haven't seen him be really smart. It's yeah. a prey of the anyway. Sioux. We, we get to see everything. Sorry, we never get to see anything. We get to hear about it. We get to see him doing ridiculous and stupid traits. And, but, like, anything that the author can't actually show, we instead see by yeah. being informed about it. Anyway. Boogity anyway. boogity boogity. A long night's sleep improved my disposition considerably, and I asked for some books on mathematics and some pen, paper, and an abacus. At least, according to the book I learned mathematics from, most mathematicians were terrible at arithmetic. The key was in understanding how numbers function and what you want them to do, i.e. stuff they don't exactly teach you in school. Um, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, uh, um, I'm going to call bullshit on that and move on. Talent hunting! Oh, but, well, you know what? He's probably, ref he probably referencing the thing from Ripley's Believe It or Not about how Einstein failed math. Einstein himself wrote to Ripley to tell him that that was false and that he like consistently got an A's in math and he received a letter in response that just said, believe it or not. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Jesus. Wow. Yeah, so it's that Einstein failed math thing is, was made up by a book that makes shit up to impress you. If I remember, wow. it's just that uh, his teachers didn't really like him because he asked a lot of questions, but he was still a downright no, genius. Actually, the reason the thing comes from is... Uh, in Swiss, I think in Switzerland, they do the a grade scale differently. Mm. So it was like one is the best grade and five is the worst. Oh. So they saw he got a one. Yeah. Anyway, as a result, I had been forced to, to laboriously relearn mathematics, break my mind of bad habits. It's tough enough to learn in, as an elementary school. Bad habits, like understand. From context, bad habits, like being good at arithmetic. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Wow. And a liberal arts major. Oh, god damn it, really? I got myself one of those by accident. 
Yeah. <laughs> and uh. it's just like, hey, you don't learn any math as a liberal arts major. Screw you. That doesn't stop you from taking math classes, you little tit. Don't make fun of liberal arts students. They've made terrible <laughs> life choices. I didn't make a choice. I got it by accident. <laughs> the the <laughs> only justifiable excuse for going to college with the intention of getting and getting a liberal arts major, accidentally doing it. Yeah, so right now, I was going for a CS. I was going for a CS degree, but accidentally ended up with the at the last moment getting too many credits in a foreign language. Oh, I'm so sorry. And reading the requirements for a liberal arts associate. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> Wow, uh, that's so right kind of now, hilarious, actually. So basically, right. I got the degree by trying to get my general ed stuff out of the way first. <laughs> so Rydell was an idiot on accident. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. Still. Still yeah, on purpose. Yeah. Still, I had a functional grasp, though certainly nothing fancy, of the basics of advanced mathematics. Study lessons and weekly quizzes with Twilight certainly aided in my growth in the subject. And now I was applying those lessons to the problem of how to get Rainbow Dash going faster. Why? Why are you? Why is this a thing that? Okay, fuck it. I'm gonna. Okay, no, it's very easy. It's the mathematics of using a catapult. You put Rainbow <laughs> Dash in a catapult. You fire it. If that doesn't work, you try a chemical propellant, like shooting her out of a cannon. Watch as or he, you like, try. Straps... Actually, you try a trebuchet first. What? Watch as he like straps fucking like metal sheets to her and is like, "There, she's less aer like she's more aerodynamic now. Now she will be faster. I'm so smart." <laughs> All right. Not metal. We decide. No, no metal sheets. We're just strapping a rocket to her. That would actually. That might actually work depending on how fast the rocket is. Yeah. What if I? Anyway, uh, who's going to read the thought Some bubbles? Some guy, I'll read the thought bubbles because it appears Andrew's mouth is thankfully shut throughout this chapter. Yeah. <laughs> All right, high enough speed, she wouldn't be able to propel herself. I thought to myself, I scribbled some notes. Maybe if there was a spell to increase the density of the air around her wings. Uh, what? What? That wouldn't help! That's retarded! That's, that's... <laughs> Increase the density? What are you- What?! Maybe if I built a brick wall in front of her where she's flying, that will help her go faster. Or maybe if I jumped her in water and that somehow got in the air, that would help her fly faster! Oh my god, that is- I can't even! I can't even! I can't, 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 and for the fifth time today... I, mean, I think the increased density broken. under the wings might have a positive effect, but in front of would be bad. <laughs> it can't! The problem with that would be added friction, of course, but considering she could take over a thousand Gs without trouble, I was sure yeah, we could figure out a way around that. Remember what? the the rainbow you... mathematics he mentioned? Make it if up. you look at the actual mathematics, she pulls out a 10G turn. So his thousand <laughs> Gs really should tell, tell you something about his mathematics. Oh my god. Jesus Go away, He's so fucking stupid. This is... <laughs> the door opened, and I looked up to see Twilight Sparkle enter with a smile. Oh, thank God, and I have... <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Andrew. She said brightly. I wanted to check up on you, see how you were doing, and, and review some notes from a previous conversation we had. Oh, my oh God. God. I managed to nod with my whole upper body and pointed to my notes. Twilight snatched up a few with her telekinesis to and read through them, nodding or shaking her head every so often. Hmm. Mostly shaking her head. It, it might be possible to increase the density of the air around her wings as she goes faster. Oh, shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. <laughs> you see, I, I figure if I just humor you... That'll get you to shut up faster. I, I know, I, right? I figured I'd say exactly what the to, Sioux was just thinking so that I can show how I'll much smarter to, the, the Sioux is. I'll have to run the calculations again. Twilight said thoughtfully. Go away, Uncle Doohard. No. There's, there's there, Nero. 
There, there. <laughs> I'll get you Linus's blanket in a second. Oh, yeah. I shrugged and then looked at her questioningly as she cleared away my work. She Let's just cheerfully. take this away from you before the math injures you. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Let's take it away before you think too hard and make your brain explode. Too late. I scratch plushy. It makes the pain so much worse. I, I mean, less. <laughs> the vinyl scratch plushie <laughs> makes the pain worse. It's you know, put down it the makes... plushie and step away. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I she smiled like cheerfully. It makes well, the pain less. Well, it was in regards to your species evolution, a few key parts of it. She said. You said you had been studying, or anthropology at your home school on Earth, correct? Grabbing no, the he was a liberal too. arts major. No, he was a liberal arts major. Oh, wait, wait, That's next different from anthropology. Next slide. I again Grabbing managed my strange nod. Liberal arts, see? What? Because even though they're liberal totally arts and anthropology are the same degree. <laughs> Grabbing the Trixie plushie, too. It's a social science degree, <laughs> you stupid bastard. Wow. Jesus Christ, Andrew Day Talon. Uh, I just want to take a moment wow. and recommend stuff by Admiral Biscuit because he not only researches the hell out of everything, he then like has a link to a separate article he'll put where he shows you all of his work. Wonderful. Yeah, I mean, I I know that uh, my first fan fiction was really terrible, but when I gave my character epilepsy, I looked into epilepsy. A guy legitimately messaged me about it saying, you do know that epilepsy isn't like all these stereotypes. I go, don't worry, I've actually looked all of this up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Even me, as a first-time horrible fan fiction author, yeah. I know how to look things up. This Wait, guy... So with his billions no, of it's so fans. dumb. What the fuck? Yeah, like I mean, uh, Admiral Biscuit. Even there's like things you don't think about, like plumbing and stuff. He's researched how all that stuff's done pre-industrial and the the various changes it had to be made for it to work with ponies, like the changes in uh harnesses for plowing mm -hmm. and things what parts are necessary what aren't what would have to be v moved or removed to put on on your own yes uh wow. very very, okay. very impressive but uh let's get back to it yeah let's yeah, get back to this because we're never yeah. gonna finish the story of this right so many plushies right twilight said rummaging around in her saddlebags for a few sketches i had made on that day she held them up and, and you included some parts about sexual selection <laughs> what <laughs> what the the smell plushie what? Well, I've selected oh. you. Wait, what? Oh I my have... god. <laughs> four, four, four plushies is enough so far. What is, just... what did, Jesus what... Christ. Nice. Nodding nice. with my whole body was tiring, so I held up my hand like a sock puppet and had it nod. So that's actually <laughs> the sign language for yes. Yeah. Twilight blinked a few times before she got it and smiled. Ah, good. Anyway... She said as she placed the sketches in my lap along with a notepad, blank paper, and pencil. I was wondering if you could establish a range of body styles, roughly speaking, from least attractive to most attractive, as well as some notes on what the male of your species looks for in a mate, in general, and you specifically. Oh my god, she's gonna use- Oh, oh no shit. Yeah. This is about so as- He grabs the pencil and- No, he grabs the pencil and writes- I like big butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> Seriously, this is this, Twilight in this story is about as subtle as a guy walking up to a girl in a bar and saying, "Hello, ladies, I'm a boob inspector. I gotta see your boobs." I don't. And think I'm gonna choose my pants to make it through this. It's like oh, seriously, God. for Christ's sakes, this is like embarrassingly awful. <clears throat> like, come on. <clears throat> Mm. Are we even? Ah, but that's for science. At, ugh, I stared at her. Twilight shrugged. I, I'm doing some sexual selection studies on Ponyville stallions and a little study into other species' selections. And why is Twilight doing that and not Fluttershy? No, because Twilight isn't doing that. She's trying to get oh. into Andrew J. Talon's pants. <laughs> if you want a reasonable explanation. Uh. 
it could be that she's doing other sapient species like griffins and donkeys and stuff which fluttershy probably have as much problems with as she has with ponies yeah yeah she smiled that's what oh i wanted to God. get from you before but i think i er came on too strong i think you were i think you intended to come on him too strong a little bit you know anyway. yeah as well you got it uh, why away. is it my copy of Frank Herbert's Dune hardcover? Ah! Grabbing, uh, grabbing the cheap, cheap plushie. Hold on. It's not as much hardcover as thickness. I suggest I've got a book here, The Giant Book of Amber. It is the complete complete Chronicles of Amber. That'll complete hurt. Chronicles. Oh Jesus. Uh, Jesus. Oh my God. But. <laughs> Even 883 pages isn't enough. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's Her smile was point. nervous, and she had a bit of a blush. Oh, that's an understatement. I thought dryly. <laughs> See, even he thinks he's coming on too strongly. Yep. She's coming. Still, I waved her off anyway. I mean, we were both alien to one another, and frankly, explaining I was a little freaked out at romantic attraction to someone outside my species would require me to speak. And we do not want that. Yeah, we've seen what happens then. <laughs> Absolutely not. Probably very quickly to avoid hurting her feelings too badly. If that was the case, if, no if not, I needed to speak quickly to avoid embarrassing the two of us. I nodded with my hand puppet again and began some quick sketches. On the far left of the piece of paper, I drew the basic body plan of a supermodel on death. What? Skinny beyond belief, and despite their ornamental nature, most men were not really attracted to them. And you are, because... No, wait, hold on. I think he's trying... I think he's giving that... An example. Oh, as, oh as right. An example of, like, a stereotype. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. You know, which uh, she put, she wanted them from most attractive to least attractive. So he's starting with something that he admits most men aren't really ah, attracted to. Okay, fair enough. All right. So on uh, the far right side of the paper, I drew the kind of women I couldn't help think of as living boulders. My okay. middle finger is rising slowly into the air, grabbing the plushies <laughs> again. <laughs> When I was little, I pretended one of them would fall over and roll after me like in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Obviously, there were outliers, men who found this body plan attractive, but frankly, it couldn't be a large percentage. Even in America. My me second middle finger is rising! Well, Fuck you, Andrew no James Allen! Fingers. There are no more middle fingers for me to lift. Well, I guess we'll lift more middle fingers as we go. I drew a scale of figures in between and marked the middle bit, running from the girl who is on the verge of working out too much to the girl who's generously called voluptuous, as the average of human male desire. Okay. What? I wrote down some general turn-ons for men, physical and non-physical, and you can speak for the entire male gender because... I'm because, a man. because he is 100% of male humans in Equestria. Because he is... To be fair... To be fair, so Rydell is So he is, is a correct. representative sample of the men she will have available. Oh, God. Hey, we have them, too. Personally, I went for intelligent women, kind of maternal women, or fiery women. More often than not, though, I ended so up he, getting crazy so, women. So wait a minute. He, so, he likes to he likes to light women on fire? He's he's being as generic as well, possible. Well, no, maybe he might. Maybe he like he means like self igniting ones, kind of like a rule sixty three human torch. <laughs> oh, so, so like so like spontaneous combustion means. fetish. Yeah, this, is, this is like the most generically sexisty nice guy bullshit. It's just like I'm into smart, intelligent, fiery, independent women, but most of the time I just get crazy I'm women. I'm into strong, independent black women that. Uh, yeah, it was like seriously, this culture. guy, like, like this thing, this whole thing, like the more often than not, I end up dating crazy women. That that might just be male bias talking. It's like this whole thing is like so nice guy MRA uh, like uh, internet man bullshit. 
like the whole like excuse oh, me while I go like, grab my me, fedora I'm a very, and tip it. Yeah, it's like I'm a very nice guy who's very into smart women who are independent and very kind and maternal and all yeah. these good things. Oh, like literally, but, like, you but, are. like my all of my exes are crazy. And so whenever I say that I like this type of girl, but then I get exactly what I'm looking for and realize I don't actually like that because I'm really into submissive people, so I was like, fair. no, it's just they're crazy. I mean, seriously, guys. Seriously, fair. guys. I am, I am now actually wearing my fedora. <laughs> it's like, oh, fuck M'lady. yourself, Talon. M'lady. I tipped it. There you have it. Tip, 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 he didn't tip, even tip, have tip, to do it. I'm, t- I'm tipping it for him. Ju- tipping okay, it. okay. Back to the story. Back to the story. I'm tipping so that it so might much, just be... like I'm fapping the hat, you know? Ah. God damn it. Back to the story. <laughs> so that might just be male bias talking. Of course when it's was... male bias, you no, little shit. No, it's your giant fucking prick talking. Putting that... Yeah. When I was finished, I showed the sketches to Twilight. She nodded approvingly and smiled at me. Good. good. Oh! Uh, what about what human women want? Can someone They're... get Mel Gibson on aisle five, please? Oh, uh, well, Mel, Mel, what, Mel, what human women want? They want the dirt, man, they want the freaking, 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 My nipples, they hurt. They hurt oh when I twist God. them. <laughs> oh. oh, God, this is going to be painful. They just yeah. want the voice of Morgan Freeman. Yeah, to be oh, fair. Squish. But the question is, how do you draw the voice of Morgan Freeman? Uh, Let's just continue no, I, yeah, with I, I, want, I want to see what Andrew J. This Talon is... thinks women want. Okay. I shrugged, but I give it my best shot. Running purely from female instinct, I wrote that the majority of females wait, of the human species wait. prefer tall Running men. Running purely from feet. Running purely from female instinct. What female instinct do you have that you're run- using right now? That makes he, no he'd sense. Be, he'd be more of like, I don't know, like slowly crawling. Like basically his female instinct goes at the speed of a slug. You, you, so, know, you, know, what this, you know what this reminds me of? You ever seen the, the show uh, Boondocks? Uh, Boondocks Saints? Oh. No, 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 yeah. Boondocks, Boondocks, yeah. yeah Boondocks. You, you know, you know Uncle Ruckus? Comic. Yeah, you know Uncle Ruckus from the show? Yeah. The, uh, yeah. the blind guy? Yeah, no, no, the, the old guy. You know, Uncle Ruckus. Yeah, that guy. Who came back from the dead at some point. Yes, exactly. He went to he went to white heaven. But he, he's he's like an old black guy who's incredibly racist against uh, black people. And he, yeah, he goes on these guy. yeah he, he goes on these huge tirades about like the, the scientific findings about the black community and like they're like horrible racist shit. This, he, this guy is just coming off at this point like the female like the the like it's like that but for women it's like based purely on the female instincts i'd say that most of women believe in this that and the other oh, that God. is purely I, from I, my I, scientific I, findings on the females but oh boy the female and, instincts you know, i have from not being female sean Helfen just says uh that uh, apparently guys like mountains of boobs so <laughs> i'm going to put that in I'm, I'm not this guy i'll tell you that much the, literally, they, the we like we like boobs that are like over a thousand miles tall, and where you need a Sherpa guide to help find your way through them. Man, <laughs> yeah. I'm putting, Cthulhu yeah. boob. Cthulhu boobs. I'm putting, Cthulhu. I'm putting that into Cthulhu. the deck right now. Just mountains of boobs is now a white. <laughs> oh, God damn it! Back to the story. That's the story. Yeah. Mon- yeah. Mon- emotionally. Girl. Yes. Yeah, emotionally, women in general wanted more sensitive men when it came to long-term stuff like child-rearing, but preferred a balance between manliness and sensitivity. Being personally attractive and super confident, but a jerk, an alpha in other words, worked for women who only wanted short-term relationships. Longer term, they wanted guys who would stick it out with them, but the more successful relationships were the ones where the men maintained their personal attractiveness and confidence as best they could. The generalizations. Oh my god. They are intensifying. Oh, wait. Next paragraph. Okay, I was vague, but let's be honest. With the social sciences, you're always being a generalist. And I'm a man to boot who is dumbing down human male-female interactions for a talking magic pony. Give me a break. No! Fuck you! I'm not giving you a break. With the social sciences, you're always being a generalist? What the fuck moron bullshit statement is that? It's it's Alan fucking hunting. stupid. It's like seriously Alan like hunting. like I I you know like talk to a psychiatrist. Like the, the the thing is they constantly go like this is like they don't say like this is this and this is this and this is this. They don't 
say that. That's not what a, that's not how a social scientist talks. They talk like, well, you can see in broad patterns that these things will tend to arise in in certain percentages, but that they are there are also the outliers. They talk in incredibly broad terms, and they are very, very, very specific about where they are being broad and where they are being. Yeah, you know, they're not they, just they don't being. Tell you- they're not just being they, broad for the hell of being broad. They're being broad because they have to, but they don't try and sound specific and then tell you it's being broad. Yeah, it's like mm, they, they're, they're upfront about it. The about the broadness. Urge to strangle, rising. God, okay. this guy is so fucking stupid. Just, mm. The Red Bull, the Red Bull helps. Just grab, grab uh, a Red Bull. I need plushy Colgate. Hold on. Chug it. It's, uh, vinyl, just gave, vinyl just gave me a Red Bull and it really helps. Okay. Ugh. Let's just keep going. Keep going. No. Keep going. No. In a lot There's of no ways, that's not to too different from our species. I'm sure Rydell has a food, a Lyra plushie that he can hold. Mm. Twilight no. Muse as she read it over. three Lyra plushies. None have oh. genitals because <laughs> plushies with genitals are creepy. <laughs> I like the story! He pretends they have large penises. Still, I'll put some ideas that er, certain ponies have been having to rest. You you see, there's these rumors that uh, male humans like mountain boobs that require their own (laughs) Sherpa to navigate. God damn it. Back to the story, please. Ly- Lyra's been insisting that they that they like their women with really big Back hands. To fucking story! <laughs> okay, so Sean Helfen is going to go look at more naked pictures of Trixie. So uh, he's oh. going to be fine. I think that's all the pictures of Trixie. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, there's pictures of her with a hat and cape. Oh, fair, fair point. Fair point. <laughs> uh, air? What? You said you wanted to continue the story. It's. I already off. read that part, though. I stare at her and coughed and looked yeah. aside. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, I didn't realize you had already read that. I stared at her. She coughed and looked aside. Oh my, look at the time. I need to go. Oh. She gasped as I took hold. I, she gasped as I took hold of her tail and glared at her. She looked over her shoulder with a flush. Er, could you let me go, please? She asked. He started pulling her in by the tail until he shoved his hand up her. Go on. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. I waved my hand around for her to explain while still holding on to her tail. Twilight sighed and trotted back to the side of the bed. While you're still pulling her tail. Uh, yes. Okay. There were a few ponies in the village who think you're. Well. <sighs> Twilight shrugged. A gelding. What the hell is a gelding, and oh. why should I care? Well, that's when you that that's when a, you uh, take a whole stallion and you uh chop the dick off, nip the bits. If only, if only he was, that would that would make life a lot easier. But uh, oh. no, we know the st- if he were, we know that the story would then be every pony in Ponyville trying to get with him and failing and because his- of that. Yeah. yeah, which would be wow. a lot which admittedly would be a better story. That would be it a much would too. Yep. Too hard. Your duty is clear. <sighs> yes. All right. <laughs> Go in there snip, snip. with the garden shears. I stared at her in disbelief. Twilight spoke quickly. Well, I mean, um, ponies having relationships outside of species isn't and heard of. Actually, it's fairly common. No pony really thinks it's weird. I mean, you've seen Spike, right? He's really attracted to rarity and he's a dragon. It's not the first time at all. And have, you haven't shown any signs of being attracted despite all this going on and me and me getting all naked for you and rubbing myself down with oil and all the other things. I probably no, should have that... stopped that sentence a little while ago. Weird. <laughs> you know, and you know, taking the whipped cream and the pudding and... God, oh, naked, stop boss. talking about pudding around me. Uh. Wow. So, the, pudding and the cookies right. and is you putting know, your fetish and G, G money grabbing the G money almost getting shot over the cookies and whipped cream, Twilight. whipped cream, lots and lots of whipped cream. Yeah. Air. So yeah, and so hair. Twilight gave him a nervous smile. So, well, I let go of her tail inside. <laughs> I mean, 
if this is a bad thing, I can certainly help alleviate it. That's I, what I, she I, said. Goodbye. That is what I, she said. I mean, and it's the about people sex. thinking you are, I mean, the people thinking you a gel, you're a gelding thing. For um, oh my God. scientific I purposes, that is. Twilight said quickly. Uh, so can someone get an orderly in there? I think someone broke Nero Brody. Well, I, I think what's going on right now is Twilight is literally saying, hey, you haven't had sex for a while. I kind of get the feeling you're getting blue balls. Do you want me to, you know, relieve that tension? <laughs> like, that's not me reading into it. That is, I'm fairly certain what the text of the story is actually saying. I know, oh. right? Uh, so, Twilight said quickly, I stared at her in shock. She backtracked quickly. <laughs> No, I'm now, fine, I'm good, I'm I mean, good, I'm fine. We don't have to do anything. I'm, I'm not fine. Just, you know, pretending attraction would make ponies think of you as, well, maybe a little more normal, relatively speaking. So then the ponies see. that you don't find attracted will find you, a tr at, will see you as a reasonable sexual partner and therefore go after you more, which is the opposite <laughs> of what you want right now. <laughs> she said. I mean, unless you are attracted to oh. us, and you're just resisting it. Oh, 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 oh I see God. God. I'll get ah. Big Macintosh. Oh. <laughs> they don't call him Big Macintosh for nothing. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay the Red Bull. Okay. Red Bull. Yeah. I think I need to enter Celestia as a gay bar right now. I oh, need to enter Celestia gay bar. <laughs> I leaned back in bed, took hold of my pillow, and placed it over my face. Please suffocate um, yourself. Wait, so, wait. Please do. A, wait, is this an auto asphyxiation thing? Oh no! No! No, um, no it can't be. He's not dressed up like Batman. I, I, okay, I, I guess we'll just talk about this later. Then I'll leave you to your. Hello. All right, so Sean Helpin yeah. has officially contributed to the deck twice because uh, <laughs> I'm putting in wanting the Macintosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Twilight asked. I groaned. Um, I'll take that as a yes. Uh, goodbye. Get better soon. I'll see you when you stop groaning. With that, she trotted out. I groaned again, wondering how the hell I was going to explain this. I don't know, maybe you could just say, Whoa, bitch, back off! Anyway, boogity 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 boogity. Stupid! Boogity 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 boogity. Okay. The pony doctor. Well, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's say anything. Yeah, time night? Yeah, time night. Yes, I have not said that. Yeah. Alright, right, uh, just a few more snips. Oh, he's getting gelding. Now you're a gelding! <laughs> God damn it. Yes. <laughs> The pony now doctor said kindly the as his scissors clipped away at my bandages. And we'll, we'll be able to take the brace off. Never mind, back to the red bull. <laughs> I grunted, holding perfectly still as the blade snipped close to my face. I clenched the blanket in between my fingers as the doctor did his work. You're not doing it well enough, doctor! Closer! Closer! Into the eyes you go. Venus, Some guy on. shouted that, and that's how I got this badass scar. God no, damn it. Snip, snip closer to his penis. Come on. Yeah, come on. Make him a eunuch. A eunuch, yeah. Yeah. I was always nervous when sharp objects were near my face due to an unfortunate incident in high school when a freshman had jokingly thrust a pair of scissors in my face and I'd gotten a scar on my cheek for my trouble. Oh my god! I was joking! Red <laughs> god damn it! I jokingly gouged that guy's cheek. Wow! I jokingly oh, guessed what was going to happen in the thick again. Ooh. Yep. This yeah. is oh, oh, I get this line. Get this. That's a quick it secret. wasn't a particularly big scar either. Just a small thin line a few millimeters to the right of my nose. Not particularly brag worthy. So why the fuck are you bragging about it now? He's not bragging oh. about it. He's using his I think it's supposed to, it's, it's his explanation. explanation of his fear of having pointy objects waved in his face, which is definitely a fear why that needs explanation. Like that? And is absolutely something that's going to come up later so it really needs to be dwelled upon 
Probably not. She says, like, more importantly, like, right. how, like, what the hell? Like, he got stabbed in the face um, with a pair of scissors, but it left a tiny right millimeter long scar? Like, the hell type of scissors did he get stabbed with? Like, what the, the scissors kind of, like, gently, like, prod him in the cheek? Like, how the hell do you leave us a millimeter long scar with a pair of fucking scissors? It's not like a scalpel. It's not a fucking box cutter. It doesn't, like, leave a tiny nick. You're either getting jabbed with these giant, bulky pieces of metal or not. Like, oh, my God. A millimeter okay. scar is not even no or not no. even noticeable. You would really wouldn't be aware that you have it. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it like, would be less yeah. noticeable than a zit. Exactly. So it's like, what the hell? How do you get stabbed like that? Like, I could imagine, so, like, I have millimeter scars on my fingers from where I've been cut by uh, things. But like, the thing is, they're not like they weren't fucking scissors. They were like tiny little nicks with like like bread knives and shit. Like they're like there are things that are so, that like had like tiny, very thin, very small points. That just kind of jammed into my fingers, you know. No. That happens. Uh, like, but like, this is so uh, cheeks, no. scissors. What? Wow. This motherfucker better. This motherfucker better get better right. Well, I think what we've learned right here is Andrew and Joshua Talon is the reason schools have to use safety scissors. <laughs> Back to the story. <laughs> this motherfucker anyway. better get better at writing soon. I'm running out of Red Bull. I've only got two more cans. Oh, time night. <clears throat> Good, good. The doctor said as the bandages came away. He reached out to the brace and began to undo the plastic fasteners. You're doing well. Too hot. Mm -hmm. I grunted again, my lips twitching. They were hideously chapped. I was thankful the ponies did have a petroleum industry, albeit one mo devoted mostly to plastics and medicines. Imagine in horsepower. <laughs> Ha! Because get it? I made a pun. Look at me! I'm Samert. I'm 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 breaking the fourth wall to tell you how funny that pun I just made was. He is so smart. Yeah, I, I'm, yes, I, I'm getting off. I I'm feeling shades of the tale. Get it of Prince Martin Willis? Yeah. Oh, God. Well, he did avoid. The, the old problem of never reference a better movie in your shitty movie. Okay, this Jesus. is the origin story of the or Joker. So you're reminding me of I'm a worse. Hoping... <laughs> Dude, I am a hoping you're not talking about the song, The Joker, because if you are, I am going to murder you. I love yeah. that song. Anyway, magic and horsepower, ha, huh, provided the motive power for most vehicles and the energy needed to run electricity, at least in Ponyville. The brace finally came undone, and the doctor smiled. How do you feel? I very That's slowly... Uh, I very slowly opened my mouth and worked my jaw. Feels... stiff. That's what I pronounced. The doctor nodded. Yes, I'm sure he's is... not just talking about his mouth there. Yeah. Oh my god. Yes, that, that is to be expected. Wait, what?! Take it Keep going. Anyway, take it easy while ta well, while talking and eating for a few days. You should be just fine. The doctor smiled. Get yeah, for a lollipop? Of course! Because giving someone a lollipop when you've told them to be careful with eating for a few days is a brilliant idea! It's like, hey, you should it's eat something really soft, flavor. like, you know, like, uh... Scrambled eggs or, you know, soup. Here, you want something extremely hard that could, like, shatter your teeth if you bit down on it hard enough? Like, hell yeah! That is, oh my god, it's like... <laughs> Ten more days at the hospital! All right, well, you're, you, you, you've get... recovered from lung cancer. Just, you know, try and be very careful and take it easy here, for a few days. Here, want a Cuban? Yeah, want like, a smoke? Yeah, oh, uh, god. here, I'll bum you a cigarette. <laughs> to, uh, it's a way of congratulating you on your speed recovery. Like, Jesus Christ. I, something that wasn't liquid? I was all over that, and I soon exited the hospital with a nice watermelon lollipop at the corner of my mouth like a cigarette. I looked around, frowning a bit. <clears throat> Speaking of lung cancer. I could have sworn Pinkie Pie or someone would be waiting for me out here. Maybe they hadn't been messaged about my release? Well. I mumbled. No sense in standing around. No, no, no standing on sentiment. As my work schedule was more contract-based, I headed into town to look around and relax a little. It, it was pretty quiet. 
The marketplace was bustling. There were a few full. There were fools running around enjoying the day off. Here's the CMC. Oh, the uh, CMC. Uh, right, that, and they're going to be recurring characters as well. So, uh, how about uh, each of the the three? Uh, how about Nero, Rydell, and uh, and Time Knight? Each I of you take uh, one. I will be Scootaloo. Uh, okay. And I shall be Sweetie Belle. And that makes me. Me apple bloom. That would make you diamond mm -hmm. tiara. <laughs> God right. damn it! That's CMC. All right, go on. Wait, which one is? I think one? It, doesn't, it doesn't really I matter. I think it's apple bloom. Scootle. Yeah, I think it goes in that Anna. All righty, here we go. All right. <clears throat> hey, Andrew. Oh no! I tried in vain to look around as though they were referring to some other Andrew. Even though that's not a pony name, you. Fucking idiot. Yeah. <sighs> not like Razor Graves. <laughs> My name is not Andrew. I am Dick Poundthrob. Oh, <laughs> All right. Uh, this, this would be this would be sweetie. It's like, what, what, what are you Hi talking yeah. about? I'm Mellow Hay. Uh, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Maybe it had settled hey, to the look, name. Listen. Days had come. Oh my God! Shut the fuck up, Nobby. All right. Uh, and Lugo. finally, Scooteroo. And has to hey yeah hey yeah. I groaned, turned back, and bent down a bit to face three eager foals. Hello, Apple Bloom, Scootaloo, Sweet Bell. I greeted them with a sigh. The cutie, my crusaders. Why, God? Why? Like because you deserve to be punished for this. And we're only yes, about halfway he done. does! What, <laughs> yeah. what he described has Scruffy committed to be stuck with such irritating children. The stupid! No! No, no! The stupid's coming up. We're only yeah. about halfway through the chapter, too. Do you want to do, sweetie? Yeah. Uh, I cannot do, oh sweetie. Uh, I, I, I was... Oh God. I was dragged to the blacksmith shop. Well, it was more like a combination machining a blacksmith's shop, a forge, and metalworking equipment aplenty inside, but blacksmith had become the basic tile for any metalworker no matter how advanced the technology they used. Within, Smokestack, the tall, dark, and strong proprietor of the establishment, mm, baby. I'll get Big Mac and Josh. Oh, well. <laughs> looked up as the cutie Mark Crusaders and I came in. To the CMCs, he gave an indulgent smile. Air what's in just keep prison. reading, please. To me he gave a snort. Uh, I thought the, that said right. he gave a snort. No, that we're at the end of that paragraph, real quick. To the person asking uh, to to Sean who was asking if I could do Sweetie Bell, I'll tell you, if I was to do Sweetie Bell, she'd probably end up sounding something along the lines of this. <laughs> And at that point, you might as well just get out the trombone oh, and the plug. Oh, no, I was actually one. thinking more along the lines of, then something kills her. <laughs> Again. Ladies and gentlemen. For the millionth we time. Have guts. We uh -oh. have reopened the flatly counter. Continue uh -oh. on with this next line. Uh, should I, ooh, should ooh, I ooh, take smoke smokestack? Uh, I'll do smokestack since you guys are doing this, Crusaders. Yeah. All right. You took your, t you took your uh, time getting out. She said flatly. I That's number five. Decision. I did. Damn. Well, you signed up for time in the shop with these three. Oh, yeah. Smokestack said in his gravelly voice. You're and you didn't bother to, to show up. 92.5. All the best hits of classic <laughs> rock. Oh, my God. Damn it. Wait, I uh, mean, what? This I is asked. Duhod's gravelly voice. Oh, God. Smooth. No, I'm not, I, uh, that's my cool Christmas voice. Yeah. I asked, turning a glare at the three fillies. Apple Bloom coughed and looked to the side. Scootaloo grinned uneasily. Sweetie Belle tried to hide behind a table. Well, uh, yeah. You did sign that permission slip uh, we, did, we gave you. Apple Bloom said... This would oh be Scooter. This would be Scooter Lou. No, that's you. No, no. Oh, okay. This is a dual right. oh, yeah. oh yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, <clears throat> so my autograph was for you to work uh, with power tools. 
Remember, <sighs> when someone hands you a paper with writing on it and a spot for you to sign, it is never yeah. for an autograph. Oh my yes. god. And then, uh, I asked flatly. Yeah, oh my god. That's six, I ladies asked and gentlemen. That flatly. We are taking Scootaloo a number six winced here. and smiled. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was to make you a gift. Yeah, a gift. Sweetie Belle said. I think yes. a gift. That's probably the longest one Sweetie Belle's going to get this rate. <laughs> well. And try, try for a cutie mark. Apple Bloom said cheerfully. I sighed, looked over at Smokestack, and waved my hand. All right, it's all right, it's all right. I said. The big stallion snorted, it's but nodded slowly. It's right. it's I turned right. back to the Crusaders, shrugged, and forced a smile. All right. What's this gift you made for me? <sighs> oh, this is going to be great. The Phillies squealed and grabbed onto my sleeves with their teeth, dragging me to a workstation in the far corner of the shop. They sat me down on the stool and then trotted off to what I assumed was the project locker. A few moments later, they came back with a heavy, tube-staved object about one and a half meters in length, wrapped in a heavy cloth. They set it on the workbench and grinned up at me, and I almost called it a heavy cult. No. I've been reading too much Legolas by Laura lately. Okay. Scootaloo. Scootaloo. Let me... Open it. Is your line. Open it. What the fuck was that? It's a voice modulator. Go on. Clownfish, baby. Oh my god. Scootaloo said, I shrugged, reached down, and unwrapped the object. My eyes widened. Well, what do you think? Apple Bloom asked cheerfully as I held up what looked like a big barreled rifle. Oh my god. It was about as simple a gun as you could get. A muzzle, barrel, a round firing chamber, a hammer, and a wooden stock. I found a release catch, and the gun barrel moved from the chamber on a hinge. The whole thing resembled a crude M79 grenade launcher. You know, the one from Terminator 2. And you know, the one that didn't went to run right next to me. Powder, yeah. But we'll ignore that, because I am smart as MRT. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, and uh, ooh, before ooh, the ooh. invention of like a completely contained Ow. bullet, a right a rifle that loads from the back of the barrel is definitely gonna work. Yeah, right. It's totally gonna and do not just stuff. blow itself up in the middle because you know there's a gap. <sighs> I haven't seen that bad of firearms fail since I read Mass Effect for the Library of the Damned. Plug. Yeah. I don't know. Well. It's At least something. they didn't try having the first gun made in Equestria be machine, be uh, magazine fed. That's true. Oh, Jesus. That's true. <clears throat> uh, okay, well, that's uh, certainly something. That's uh, uh, certainly something. I said, I looked over at them. You guys built a gun? Well, you told us all about them. Scootily and explain. we were able to re complete as children oh, oh, wait, reverse wait, wait, wait. engineer incredibly complex machining wait. from a brief description. Wait, right now it gets better. Yeah. Oh yeah. Scootle explained. Yeah. Scootle Scoot explained. And uh, oh, we borrowed Twilight's notes on it to uh, make it. <laughs> Oh, so Twilight, that hand notorious, hand. that notorious arms manufacturer. Jesus Christ! Uh, ah, gents, right. hold on, uh, gents. I actually had to go and take care of a dog, as I am being paid to do that. So I'm going to leave the reading your competent hands. Uh, if you reach the end before I get back, then just you know, sign off for uh, sign off, okay. and I will uh, you know cut out all the remaining footage. Right. So, who uh, takes over? Uh, who takes camera. over the Talon? Um, I'm gonna leave that one to Rydell well. since he's had relatively less uh, screen time than anyone else. Yeah, he kind of has. Well. Okay. <clears throat> ah, right. I had explained some of our technology to Twilight during our interviews, and when the CMC had asked about Earth, the subject had come up. Guns were kind of a natural subject. I had no military experience. Tell us about your world. Okay, I'll start with our weapons. 
to I know, right? <laughs> yeah, when when children ask you about your world, the first thing you naturally tell them about is guns. <laughs> <laughs> of course! Don't you know anything about science? Okay, wait, wait, go on, go on. I had no military experience. Medical issues had prevented me from enlisting, yes. but I had been Thank Thank God. <laughs> Yeah. Well, if he had enlisted, there's a good chance he might have gotten shot. Yeah, really. Too bad. Too bad. Oh well. But I had been raised with firearms, knew how to use them, right. and I respected and understood them. Oh, Wait so a minute. Lives in Texas. Medical issues had prevented him from enlisting. So he had tried. Yes. Just a thing that but it, really fits know, his character? Well, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> At least he didn't actually get into the army. Yeah, I have seen, again. I've seen like a three hundred chapter story about like a military man in Equestria, and it is incredibly stupid. Like the one thing he has to eat, he throws away because it's an MRE that he hates to eat, even though it's the one thing he has to eat out of everything that is inedible around him. He throws out the one thing he can eat, just because wow. he doesn't like the way it tastes. That sounds like something I should snark in the future. Anyway. And hell, if you're talking about how humanity came to rule Earth, not including guns, is not not including David Bowie in a discussion of glam rock. What? Screw you. Bowie is made of awesome. No! Screw you for thinking that guns were the first thing humankind ever thought, thought up. You know, because it's not like okay. we used spears and bows and arrows before we or had the fucking gun. Okay, or that weaponry fact. would be... Fun fact, when me and my friend originally attempted doing a let's read of this, uh, when I said, what, screw you, Bowie is made of awesome, he thought I added that in because it just seemed so unrealistic to put in the text. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't think three school children could figure out how to make a gun from just that, though. Well, no wait, shit! I wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Is it, is it, so they figured out the fix started out to riff to... itself. Because we they got the Bowie out... comment and this. Yeah, <laughs> did, wait, did they figure out how to make a gun from David Bowie? Oh, no, God. I think they no. figured out how to, how to get from secondhand knowledge of the fact uh, that he had mentioned them. Oh, <laughs> the my. The fact that he God. had mentioned David Bowie being made of awesome. I can just imagine no, George Decay reading this. There was no this. segue there. There was no segue there. It went from David Bowie to I didn't think three school children could figure out how to make a gun from just that, implying that David Bowie, <laughs> they figured out how to make a gun from just David God Bowie. damn it, Brittany. Oh, no, they figured out how to weaponize him. They figured out how to, how to weaponize him with, with that orb from Labyrinth. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Oh, God. Anyway, let's go. <clears throat> it's real simple. Apple Bloom said cheerfully. We made a few shells. Oh, and they made the ammo, too. We're fucked. You, you just put it into the you... barrel, close it. Wait, wait. They made shells. So they actually skipped over the whole manual Can't loading, pu- over the... Uh, over like the uh, the packet and bullet straight into actually having manufactured shells. Okay, okay, and here's the thing: it will work too. I know it's going to wow. work. I know. S M R T. S M R T. Anyway. Wow. <clears throat> Anyways, you just put it into the barrel, close it, aim, pull the trigger, boom. Well, you that blow does up. Uh, that does uh that would happen oh, because he mentioned up. that does re- that does uh fix that one issue I pointed out with the problem of having a backloading rifle with a uh, loose powder. Yeah, but mm. I mean, like in this case, it's so poorly made that it that would be the order of operations. He closes the barrel, aims, yep. pulls the trigger, he blows up. Maybe it <laughs> works. Maybe it hey, works. Hey, that would be great because that would be this pick would end sooner. No, Sadly, there are like uh, another like, like thirty space. chapters. What? No, ho- well, hold there on. are thirty more chapters in this crap. What the fuck? He's still writing it too. No. Ah! Ah! 
Or Red Ponies Bull. are like space orcs. I've actually Let's read move on. Who's taking over for the self insert now that uh, Duha's yeah, gone? That was yeah. right oh, now. Okay. Right now. You've tested it. I asked. The Cutie Bug Crusaders all looked at each other. Uh, 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 that is no. I said with a sigh. I looked over at Smokestack. So, you know anywhere we could test this thing? Oh my. I think uh, you were in the your... testing area on the outskirts of town. Smokestack said. Probably your best bet. For everyone's safety. I said with a nod. The stallion smirked. Oh god, and they're. Uh... Except yours. I stared at him. He chortled. <laughs> <laughs> I've checked it out myself. It's got no serious warps or defects, but given who made it. Hey, we, we resent that. Apple Bloom growled. We'll show you. Scootaloo said. Sweetie Belle was already ushering me out with her horn, prodding my leg. That's what she said. Ah! More effective to oh, oh, it all right, all right. I'm going. I huffed. I tried to ignore the pitying look Smokestack shot me as I held the cumbersome weapon over my shoulder and away from anyone we might pass. Slung over your shoulder. Perfectly safe way to carry a gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because that's how it works. Hmm. Okay. The fireworks testing ground had an extremely ominous sign. This sign had a picture of Pinkie Pie on it and said, under no uncertain terms, was a Miss Pinkamina Diane Pie to experiment without the supervision of the local Denver relations expert. Distressingly, that seemed to be Pinkie herself. Hold up. Say. Ooh, Jan Animations. Hold up. If you read the way that's written. It is not forbidden for Pinkie Pie to do that without supervision. It is mandatory. <laughs> SMRT. Yeah. SMRT. Otherwise, it was like many a firing ground back on our oh, old on our you world. You skipped a sentence, which actually just emphasized. I'm pretty sure I read that one. The distressingly, that seems to be. Yeah, I read that one, didn't I? Uh, yeah, no, because yeah. I, I made my comment right after the local demolitions expert. Right. Well, whatever. Distressingly, that seemed to be Pinky herself. Otherwise, it was like many a firing ground back on our world. Sandbag bunkers, craters, the works. Come on. Come um... on, my face. God damn it! <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow! Firing grounds you're used to having sandbag bunkers and craters? Craters from the explosions, of course. That, that's that fire not the point. They just regularly have. Yeah. Come on, whatever. Let's just keep going. Scootaloo said yeah. eagerly. All right, Scootaloo said eagerly. We want to see how it works. Okay, Jigsaw, you can put away the creepy <laughs> dildo now. <laughs> okay, just let me change the voice thing. There you go. Where exactly did you get the schematics to build this thing anyway? I asked. Apple Bloom grinned cheerfully. Well, we looked on over your notes and through Powerburn's Guide to Explosives and Directed Explosives and put them all together. So basically the anarchist yeah. cookbook. That's fantastic. Yay! Yeah, we just had to do the math. Sweet Bell said cheerfully. And we did it better than you did, you little bitch. You did math. I asked the grip I had on the gun loosening. Sweetie Belle shook her head. Nope, Miss Charlie did it for us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. She helped you with the math for building a gun? I stated, not so much asked. Scootaloo shrugged. It's not like we uh, didn't tell her what we were building. The orange Pegasus said. 
she gave us the go ahead. And then Miss Cherily got fired. Out of a cannon. She no, did. by the school board. She did. I asked skeptically. Apple Bloom nodded, as did Sweetie Belle. Uh, that's Sweetie, right there. Uh, yeah. It's our science project, which is why the teacher's doing all the work on it. And when we <laughs> said you, you were involved, she said it was okay. Sweetie said brightly. But I'm not. I said flatly. So that, that is number seven. Oh, uh, oh my god. Yeah, but you you are now, right? Scootaloo asked. Uh, oh my god, really? Yeah. I resisted the urge to face palm. Clever that girl. Oh. oh god! Ah, the Jurassic Park reference! Ah! <laughs> Da, 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 da. All right. Wrong key. My desktop, desktop background, background. My desktop background changed uh, to the pony version of Dragon Force. Let's just keep going. All right. If I'm involved, though, we're doing this my way. I barked. You do what I want. When I want. How I want. That's what she said. Kinky. If I tell you to jump, you ask how high. Is that clear? One, two, three. Yes, Andrew! Yes, yes, Andrew. Oh, yeah. That was the worst chorus I've ever heard in my life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God damn it! They chorused. I nodded. I love this thing. Good. So... Where are the shells for this thing? Scootaloo reached mind? into her satchel and produced a small sack. I took it, opened it, and emptied the Scootaloo? contents into my hand. Scootaloo? <laughs> Scootaloo! Scootaloo's got a small sack. No. <laughs> no. no. Frankly, they were not encouraging! Scootaloo has a penis now. No, no, not touching that one with a ten-foot pole. <laughs> Then she probably she already has a ten foot pole. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, okay, I'm anyway. putting that one in the deck. Food lose ten foot pole. Ten foot <laughs> pole. <laughs> Anyways. Anyway, waiting on air. I said they were not encouraging already. All right, then here we go. I, I didn't hear that. I took it out. Lose ten far. foot. Ten foot pole. In that case, uh. Apple Bloom? I made that one. Apple Bloom said cheerfully, pointing to what looked like the scale replica of the Apple Family barn into the, in the form of an oversized shell. Eh. I made that one. Oh, right, sorry. Um, Scootaloo said, pointing to the shell that resembled a certain Pegasus very, very vaguely. Derpy. <laughs> I just ate that one. Sweetie said with a frown, pointing out a simple bullet-shaped round. I sighed and smiled at her. Trust me, this is probably the best one. I told her. Wait, so these girls made, said they made bullets, right? So then they ended up making Monopoly pieces as well. What? Think about it, like... Apple Bloom made a fucking barn. Scootaloo made a replica of Rainbow Dash. Derpy. They weren't building a gun. They were building a Monopoly board. And then got the instructions confused halfway through and decided, oh, fuck it. We'll just build that. No, no. What the shit? The next sentence is going to start off really stupid. Oh, God. Uh, trust me, this is probably the best one. The Lavender Unicorn smiled brightly as the other Crusaders frowned. What color is Sweetie Belle? I'm not going to bother changing ah! my voice. I'm, I'm not going to change my voice for this one. I can't do it because... Why is Twilight here? 
<laughs> what the Twilight fuck? Just appears out of nowhere. <laughs> She's up. just hiding in the book. <laughs> ah! it's, it's all going according she's, to plan. She's just like, she's like just, just hiding in the bush with binoculars, just staring at his ass. She's just, no! it's, going, it's all going according to plan. Soon no! we will castrate him. No, shut up. You see, this is the kind of problem associated with just call refer referring to your characters as the man, the woman, the mercenary, the cat Lugo. Lugo. You get them confused <laughs> and end up calling Sweetie Belle the lavender unicorn. Oh, God. But so, so Sweetie Belle back... just sprouted Twilight's head. <laughs> back to the story. But but Scootily protested. Yep. They make for lousy bullets. I really trying, I said. Nero, pretty! Okay, let me. There, fixed. What, Alpha about, Blue. what about Barnes? Alpha Blue Mask. Lots of apples. <laughs> I'm American. Yeah. They're even worse as bullets. I replied, I frowned. Are you the only ones you made? Oh, God, this is... Oh, God. Actually, these are the ones that didn't explode all over the place. And flat... Or melt! Like, ...into the thing. Skid of the sad, Sweetie Belle added. <laughs> or catch fire. Apple Bloom stated with an embarrassed smile. I sighed and took Sweetie's round. Good to know. I said flatly, and that's seven for the final no, that's count. That's eight. Oh. And oh, I only say will and always love you. How could you do this to me? I am to this to me. You're an even worse singer than I am. After all, well, everybody right. knows it's all. And I will always love you. And I... First off, I was quoting John Tron. Second of all, I was not trying to be good at third. I didn't need my ears anyway. <laughs> and I was standing up slightly away from the mic for that. It wasn't I enough. I said flatly, natural selection in action. Oh, no, right, natural sorry. selection in action would have been if the exploding bullets killed the CMC. Yes. Darwin Award uh, winners. Yay! If only this Got guy was protection. The no, producer... I wish I had one for that little bit bare hair sorry. to it out. <laughs> Shit, I'm sorry. I'm a little deaf now, completely. You know. Uh, let me sorry. drink Red Bull. That'll help. God damn it! The producer uh... earmuffs, all fluffy and cute and extremely girly. I take a red pair, placing them over my ears. My glasses would suffice for eye protection. I hoped. Okay, so he yeah, has right, earmuffs <laughs> are significant are sufficient ear protection. Well, he has, yeah, my glasses would suffice. Firing, it's not a huge. If I remember, deal, his glasses but... aren't exactly uh, mentioned ever again. And also, I wear glasses when I go to school, and I take a chemistry class that requires use of a lot of very agro very easily aggravated chemicals. No matter if you wear glasses or not, you still have to wear safety goggles. And you, I think you have to do that in other things, too, because yeah. I know yeah. for something else... Like I a know firing a... range. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, because glasses and glasses yeah. aren't made for protection. They're made to help you see. <laughs> now, I can see, you know, you're not at a full firing range. You're the only person there, and people do fire guns without like the ear protectors and goggles and stuff but you didn't bring that up as your excuse you put on earmuffs and pointed out that you wear glasses and that it would be okay, eye protection so this next, this next oh wait is, uh... oh yeah oh, let me just read that i hoped twilight had placed a spell on them to make them very difficult to break because okay, that's so what's the only another, uh, issue with using your glasses is protection, not are say all of the, coverage. All of the things that I could say out of John Tron to, uh, you know, let me see here. Uh, I got one. Nobody. 
anywhere could have told anybody that this was an okay thing to do. All right. Wow. You three. Anyway. Get yeah. behind those sandbags. I ordered, pointing to a bunker of sorts nearby. Get down low. And don't come out till I say so. Got it. One, two, three. Got right. it! Got it. You are still the worst chorus ever. They, let us hope you never have to do the Hallelujah Chorus. They chorus yeah, cheerfully. Yeah, yeah. They we go to the that. shelter while I carefully opened up the barrel of the weapon. I slid Sweetie we Shell in. Hallelujah Chorus, we would shame Nicholas Cage, so, um... <laughs> Fair enough. I slid Sweetie Shell in, and I was gratified to find it fit perfectly. Not to tight, hey. not to loose. Really kinky. That is what she said? Ah! Oh, it totally works, too! Fuck! I've been really trying, baby. Oh, God, yeah. now I feel dirty. Oh, cause... no. 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 Hardcore I shut the chamber, and pleased it also shut correctly. Day. Okay. I laid down on the ground, belly first, and grimaced as I dug the butt of the rifle stock into the dirt. My idea was simple. Fire the gun off, the shell sailing off into the ever-free forest. Hopefully not blowing up the head of some innocent little creature. Yeah. The There's recoil... every forest, there are no oh, innocent little wait. creatures. Hang on. The recoil would be transferred into the ground. If it was too intense, it wouldn't break my shoulder. Damn it. If the gun bursts, so... I can keep my head down and an arm over it. And then your arm will get blown off and you'll be and, an uh, I think No, hold on. No. He's got... Just think about the way he has it said so the stock goes into the dirt, which means the kickback is going to send the top of the rifle flying into his face. Yes. Wow. My this canvas jacket and arm would look my canvas jacket and arm would take the damage rather than my skull. Oh, so you don't mind if your arm gets blown off then? Well, better yes. than your head getting blown off. No, yeah, in, but still. in this case it would be better if his head got blown off. Yeah, it would. Better for us, not for him. Oh boy. I mean, I trusted Smokestack. More than likely, nothing would actually happen. Gunpowder is very difficult to mix properly, after all. If it did fire off, more than likely the gun wouldn't explode. I could have taken a lot more safety precautions, too. Oh, God. But there was a bit of thrill involved in my decision-making. The thrill of discovery and of blowing things up. Was it done? No, of not actually, do, of not actually taking safety precautions. Yeah. Unnecessary it, risk. The yeah. greatest sport ever. Yep. Darwin Award-winning motherfucker right here. I know, right? Was it dumb? Very much so. But it was also awesome. No, it, it was all fucking isn't! Only it. one of those it things was true. Wow! Uh, wow, well, Andrew Day Talent. S-M-R-T. I think it's going to be like a refrain for this. Let's read. Yeah, it's just all like right. Lugo is going to be a, ref a uh, special thing. For Shut me. the fuck up about Lugo already! Okay, continue on, shouty Lugo. <laughs> All right. Cover, everyone. I shouted, making sure I was aiming the thing correctly. I glanced over and saw that the crusaders were hidden behind a wall, only their ears, hair bow, and horn visible. I nodded and looked down, holding the rifle in line with my shoulder so I could cover my face with my arm. It was a firm hold, though it probably looked awkward. Kinky. Yeah, Ready. Firm hold. Firmly grasp Ready. it. Ready. I called. Fire. Oh, God damn it! You thought about a PM pros! What the fuck? Okay, to be fair, onomatopoeia is considered a, uh, a, you know, literary device, but in a lot of times... But it's a poetic device, not a fucking prose device! Yeah, it, in prose like this, it's just awkward. Uh, and you know what's great about this? It's one of my pet peeves in bad fan fiction. They always yeah. tend to use it as shorthand instead of describing the actual sound. Because S M R T! S M R T! S M R T! You know, it's, it's, better, it's better to say it's better to say that something made a meaty thunking sound rather than just put thunk. Yeah. <sighs> It really is. 
Uh, okay, so uh, I'm assuming you guys managed to get like three or four paragraphs down from where I left off. We got uh, about three. We're about three quarters of the way through the chapter now. We're at the line, kaboom! Oh, oh fantastic! Yeah. Uh, yeah. There we go, kaboom! And that's yeah. what uh, Air was really shouting about. Baby. Make Shut up, Air. Even with the ear protection, that thing was loud. Oh, the gun jerked in my grip, kicking up dirt that landed on my shoulder. I very slowly looked up. The gun was intact. The barrel was smoking a bit, and there was a smell of gunpowder in the air, but most importantly, I was not dead. The gun left in the ground was only about a centimeter, a lot better than I was expecting. The wind of the so shells was so... I can just... Uh... I can just imagine the barrel, like, it has a cigarette sticking out of it that's lit. <laughs> okay, the weight of the shells must have helped distribute the recoil, though I don't think I'd be firing it off without padding. I don't think that has much impact on the recoil. Okay. When you see how, like, the large, like, gun placements don't have recoil on these really big shells, it's not because the shell's wide. That the bigger shells can have more it's because they have other stuff to absorb all that energy so that the actual emplacement doesn't have to deal with the recoil god damn it sweetie and bell you know, are attached to things like tanks did it work sweetie, sweetie bell, bell asked softly picking poking her head up over the sandbag wall the other two crusaders followed suit oh right sorry i sat Space. up and nodded now on my feet oh, it worked I said with a little smile. One, two, three. Hooray! Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> at least you weren't chorusing this time. They cried, and as expected, they all looked at their flanks. Disappointed, they looked up due to the fact nothing had happened. It had appeared, despite the fact that Apple Bloom technically would have a cutie mark in building shit, so why the fuck didn't it show up for her? Maybe it's not in building shit, I don't know. Oh. Maybe it's in build. Maybe her cutie mark's gonna be in building furniture, oh, or how true. like ha build, building true. household objects, which it got That's true. That is true. Or I maybe whatever gives out cutie marks is disappointed right that the gun did not kill Andrew, I'm and it's thus to, withholding I'm her trying, cutie mark from her. Trying, I'm trying to move this on. You're fucking interrupting me. <laughs> Calm your tits, Nero. You won't my out. Okay. Nero, okay. I have no clue what you're saying. <laughs> this bites. Scootaloo said angrily. We finally do something right, and this happens, baby. <clears throat> All right, Scruffy. <clears throat> well, it's not the same for everyone. I said consolingly. Really? How did you earn your cutie mark? Thailand. <laughs> Apple Bloom asked. Can we see it? Pull down your Sweet pants! <laughs> Sweet Bell asked. I oh, sighed. Yeah. Guys, for the last time, humans don't have key marks. I said. Well, we just figured you made that up so you didn't have to show us your cock. But, uh. <laughs> God damn it, Nero! Skittily said with a huff. Or. Or maybe it's simply an embarrassing. Apple Bloom suggested. You know, in your Applejack's voice, you sound a lot like Larry the Cucumber. What? Not at all. <laughs> I do. A little. But... Congratulations, dude. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you just never found your special you're talent. Finally hitting puberty. Sweet you about suggested. You can tell by my voice, I already hit puberty today. So. Whatever. She flushed at my deadpan expression. Um, I mean, just saying. I sighed and rubbed my head with my hand. Well, guys, this isn't particularly... This is <clears throat> this is actually pretty good work. I guess it's just not, you know, your special talent. I mean, because every pony earns their special talent the first time they succeed at something. Much in the same way Twilight earned her cutie mark the first time she successfully cast a spell. I'm not sure whether or not that's you're being sarcastic because I think that actually is kind of what happened. No, no he, it he wasn't. We see her. 
No, we see her because, like practicing magic. We don't actually see her casting. Yeah, spells we see her until... actually like using using magic. And it's not until she goes all crazy. Well, well, magic. Yeah, but yeah. when she first casts a proper spell is when like it happens. Fine, I'll rephrase it. I mean, after all, Rainbow Dash got her cutie mark the first time she flew. Yeah. They're mm. happy. There you go. It's better. Yeah. Yeah. yeah anyway, I mean, probably looks good. Sure, you right. saw Kinesis and I was counting that. Hmm. Fair enough. Anyway. Back to the story. Right is the next line. Right. 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 They chorused horribly, making everybody in the Mormon Tabernacle Choir face palm in derision. <laughs> Mormons. Mercury. No, Mercury Mark is magic. I explained. It's a guy to be good stuff that uh, isn't your special talent. Really. Mm. Skidaloo said. I guess you're right. She grinned. Okay, fire off my pussy. I'm in mean, shell next. <laughs> Christ. Well, considering the last shell was a perfect fit, not too tight, not too loose. God damn it. This one's going to be way too tight, baby. Uh... No. No, no, mine. I Apple, Bloom, my Apple Bloom said. I sighed. Guys, if I do that, I'll probably just draw the gun. I said patiently. So, the gun is perfect. You guys made a perfect gun, except that it'll break if you fire it again. I don't think... Well, no, because... No, no, the shells. What, like, Apple Bloom's shell is shaped like Sweet Apple Acres. The entirety what? of Sweet Apple Acres. <laughs> and then... And then Skittles was looked like a really badly done statuette of Rainbow Dash. Yeah, well, in that case, they fucked up something about the gun manufacturing process, namely the ammunition. Therefore, they well, fucked up. Well, because Sweetie Bell's up. Sweetie Bell's round actually looked like a bullet. Congratulations! You can look back on the recording and see all the bullshit around that. It's pretty goddamn stupid. Fair enough. Point is, obviously, if the other bullets don't, you know, work properly, or if the entire gun fucking exploded, then clearly something wasn't exactly 100% right. Yeah. Guys, Apple I really Blues. want to get to this next scene break, because I really need to pee. All right, well, let's yeah. go, go, Apple go. Blue suggested. Right. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Ooh, maybe we need... Ooh, maybe we need to make a gun that will shoot them without blowing up. Apple Blue suggested. Yeah. Scootily cried. Cutie Mark Crusaders Gunsmiths Part 2 Electric Scootaloo, baby. <laughs> God damn it. One, two, three. Yeah! Yeah! They cried, galloping off. I sighed and looked the gun over. Overall, it wasn't anything pretty, but th it could definitely come in handy. Okay, so especially you fired consider the only bullet. Especially considering the monsters while, lurking so around here. I'm going to go consult the big white round one very fast. I'll be back. All right, then. Yeah. If nothing else, it would big make me look cool. One. Celestia's ass? <laughs> <laughs> wow, I didn't know Nero was into water sports. Oh, God, let's move on. <laughs> God damn it. I, I headed back to Smokestacks to place an order for some ammunition. Couldn't be too hard to replicate. After that, I'd see Fluttershy and maybe find some additional work to do today. Hi, Fluttershy, I passed by I got a... a gun. Need new work? God damn it. I passed by a flyer that made me double take. Iron Will's assertiveness seminar. I read aloud. I chuckled. Maybe that's where everyone is today. Yep. My gun slung over my shoulder, I head fitted for the blacksmith shop with a cheerful tune on my lips. Yep. People s happily whistling with a gun over their shoulder, walking through town. Not really a picture of mental health. <laughs> I know, right? I'd survived an incident with the Cutie Mark Crusaders involving firearms and explosives. I had to call that a win. And now we're back to... <laughs> Stupid! Boo! Okay, you you have to you have to yeah uh, punctuate. Sorry. Anyway. anyway, no pony was home when I got to Fluttershy's cottage. Well, save for her assorted animal friends. Angel seemed to be the chief one among them and regarded me with no small amount of suspicion when I entered. I shrugged. 
Hello, Angel. What's shaking? I asked. The rabbit pointed to the kitchen and then to his mouth. Ah, uh, hungry. All right. What for? I asked. The rabbit bounced off the bookshelf, rummaging through it. Oh, bounced off to the bookshelf, rummaging through it. He opened up a cookbook, indicating a particular salad sundae. He even had a cherry on top. I frowned. Oh, well, let's see what I got. I said, I set down the gun and the satchel of shells Smokestack had whipped up for me. You know, I'm just glad he didn't that... go into kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit. Because that would have so been. Gosh. So where are we? He just got the gun and placed the order for the shells. He already has a whole satchel of them. Where are we? Without any mass production. Um, what we just fin we're at a bunch of me reading narration and shit. And from uh, a yeah. blacksmith who has never worked in firearms before in his life. Yeah. Yeah. And working off of the instructions written by children. Walk into Fluttershy's <laughs> cottage with a rifle and shells. Now I'm more wondering where he got the shells from because it can't have been from that blacksmith. Yeah. The stupid. It's creating a hole in the space-time continuum. There are so many layers of stupids. Yeah, anyway. Space is warped and time is bendable. Yeah. We must go deeper. <sighs> anyway. Kinky. Yeah. He found the design interesting and agreed to take make them if we could work out a deal on the manufacturing rights. I had to consult with the CNC's legal guardians for that first, but a few custom rounds wouldn't hurt anything. Hey, I am not about to get involved in the pony legal... Hey, I'm not about to get involved in the pony legal system over patents. It's bad enough in our own world. I didn't want to think about what it would be like here. I will as an alternative to this fic. That sounds like a yeah. much more interesting got done, story. No, he just got done saying that he was going to do this, and yeah. then said, oh, but I'm not going to do this because of the legal system. So instead, I'm going to break patent, uh, manufacture things illegally, and then I'm going to file a patent. patent. Hold on, he hasn't broken patent because it's not patented. True, so he's but he, not manufacturing he, it illegally. Right, but he's murking he the water. He doesn't have to consult he's, with their he's, guardians. Yeah, he's making the entire thing significantly more legally complicated yeah. and also saying that he's still going to go ahead and, you know, get the permission and do this. And then he says, oh yeah, but I'm also going to make it so there's... Uh, uh, yeah. The level of not thinking that went into this fic. I know, right? Yes, Sam well, Martin. But ironically, at this point, overthinking. Yeah. Because as I point out, yeah. they're not patented. None of that matters. All right. Anyway, I found nearly all of the required ingredients, save for the cherry. I shrugged, assembled them, and set them out for Angel. Uh. Um. Do you? Is that? Oh wait. Angel scales. Oh, hold on a second. Okay. Uh. All right. There right, you yeah. go. All right. There you go. Angel scowled and hit the page of the cookbook several times. I scowled back. What? Is it a cherry? That's no big deal. It's more for decoration and it. I ducked as a little rabbit threw the salad sundae right at my head. I looked back as it sailed through the window and looked back at the rabbit with a scowl. I shrugged my shoulders. Fine. Don't eat it. I said flatly. That's I got up nine. and walked outside, picking up the bowl and what I could save. I came back in and zipped it up in a plastic bag, shoving it into the fridge. If you change your mind, it's there. It's right there. I said before going over to the couch to relax. Oh. Angel hopped up onto my stomach and scowled at me. I glared back up. Look, I'm not going... To get you a cherry. Deal with it. Flatly. I, you, I, I said flatly. Number what are 10. you going to do? Um, Make me. Angel hefted up the cookbook and smacked me in the face with it. Well, that's the most intelligent thing anyone's ever done in this fic so far, and it was from the non-sentient one, too. I'm fairly certain he's sentient. My He's at least sentient My... and, given his behavior, possibly even sap probably even sapient. Yeah, I'd say probably. Well, you know what I mean. My eyes widened. The hell? I rubbed my nose and scowled at him. 
What is your deal? I caught the book the second time and sighed. I took hold of his ears and sat up, glaring at him. He glared right back. We are definitely having a talk with Fluttershy. When Fluttershy gets home, young man. I said yep. flatly. He stuck his tongue out. Time. Yeah, he stuck his tongue out. I returned the gesture. He grabbed it and yanked hard. My eyes okay. widened in shock. Blur, blur, blur. Yay! Someone's actually getting into a fight with this idiot douche. And we're almost at the end of the chapter. Yeah. No, 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 Wait, no, 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 that, that's uh, Time Knights. Yeah. No, I thought I was. Uh, I thought it was Twilight. No, and no, you're Twilight. He's Fluttershy. I'm okay. And I'm Nero. Okay. <clears throat> Anyways. Oh, uh, I'm uh, great. R she really said. great. She held up some pamphlets with a red sigil in the form of a Minotaur's head emblazoned on them. I, I've been to this wonderful seminar with what Iron Will the Min Minotaur. Ah. He's a I great public, this. he's a great and forceful public speaker, as you can tell by his red banners. Yeah, I said with a well, smile. Have a swastika on there. How yeah. was that? Oh, uh, it it was good. Hello, I said with a smile. Uh, I, um, I mean, no Fluttershy. I mean, feels it was uh. good. So she, she, she's exactly. just got done with the uh, seminar, getting her and new self confidence. Now... And she's now she's immediately developed. like, I, 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 was good. She has now developed a dissociative identity disorder as well. Well, is it like she apparently none of the lessons stuck? Mm -hmm. Well, I think this show. is during the episodes. This is early before she's really started. No, this is after lesson. she's she's had like the, is, the seminar. This is after she's this, gone through the thing and starts acting think, crazy. I think this is after, like, the first thing where he said he's going to start giving her this stuff or early on in it. Yeah, but I think that before was, like, she's gone to have been, full... like, as part of, like, the whole yeah. entire seminar. Like, the entire seminar was, like, her training. It was, like, a big one-day... Because it's a seminar. It's, like, a big one-day event thing. Yeah. Uh, anyway. I blinked. Is your line? Uh, yeah, I blinked. Oh. Okay. How was your day? She asked. Uh, sorry I couldn't meet you at the hospital, but I had the seminar and... And... She blinked rapidly. I is that it for Angel? I looked up above me. The little rabbit was struggling furiously in the bandages I'd wrapped him up in like he was caught in the web of a giant smile. Spider, I smiled. Yep. I said... Is he hurt? She asked anxiously. Nope. I'm just As torturing I him. I took a sip of tea from my mug. It's just a bit of relaxing therapy. Takes all the pressure off of his spine. Oh, I see. Fluttershy said. She took the pamphlets and trotted upstairs. I'm going to be busy for a while. Um, uh, so, good night. Good night. Good I said with a grin at Angel's continuing struggles. Wow, what a dick! That's pretty dickish. Also, yeah. really, really... Although, likely... given that it's Angel... Oh, yeah, I know, but it's like... It's the, it's the, it's the equivalent of like, tying up someone's necessary. dog I with like, duct tape. Yeah. Yeah. I took another sip of tea. In a few hours, if the rabbit cooperated, I'd let him go. If not, he could get used to being a ceiling ornament. His choice. What a douche. <laughs> Well, god damn, that was long. Uh, well, thank you all for joining us yet again. We had a wonderful time, and I hope you guys all had a wonderful time with us. So, uh, till next time, this has been Duhad, joined by... Go, go ahead. Right now! There you go. Hair font yeah. check. The Nero Brony. And? 
Uh, time night. There you go. Well done, gentlemen. Well, I'll hopefully see all of y'all next week. Till then, yeah. goodbye, and I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Bye. Goodbye, yeah. and see ya. Bye. Bye.